Oh, this is lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner, ladies. Thank you. Okay, sweetheart. I know you're upset, but I want you to tell me why you think that Chad's having an affair. Well, it's a feeling, you know? A feeling that I can't seem to get rid of no matter what I do. But you don't have any proof. No. No proof. Okay, and, and what does Chad say when you confront him? He says I'm the only woman in the world that he'll ever love. <laughs> and you don't believe him? No, I can't. I don't know why, but I can't. I, I, I just feel like I can't trust him. Hey, um. sorry to interrupt. <gasps> you ladies look beautiful tonight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whitney? I just wanted you to know that I love you more than anything in the world. And to marry you would make me happier than I ever thought I could be. I know you came to have a nice dinner with your mom, so I'm gonna leave you alone. But I just wanted to remind you how much I love you. Chad, the flowers are very sweet, and, and I appreciate it, but I told you I need time alone away from you to sort things out. Sweetheart, don't be rude. No, no, it's, it's, it's okay, Dr. Russell. I know Whitney thinks I'm pressuring her. You are pressuring me, no doubt. You gave me an ultimatum, said I had to either marry you by Christmas or our relationship is over. You said that. And I said I'm sorry. Whitney, I don't mean to make this difficult, but if we don't come to an agreement, I gotta move on, Whitney. I, I can't go on like this. Yes, I know. You've told me that many times. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave you to your dinner. But I need to talk to you, Whitney. I'll be right here. I love you, baby. With all of my heart. He loves you so much. And you have never loved anyone else. Yes, I know, Mom. I love him very much. But you still think he's being unfaithful. Mom, if he loved me as much as he said he did, why was he seen in a sleazy motel room, naked? Whitney, I don't believe that someone saw Chad naked in some seedy hotel room. Oh, was there a woman there? She said it looked like he was waiting for someone. And did Chad deny it? Well, of course he denied it, Mom. Then why don't you believe him? And who's feeding you these stories anyway? It doesn't really matter who said it, okay? Excuse me, this is the man you're in love with and the father of your child, so I think it makes a great deal of difference if someone is just feeding you some slanderous lies. Well, Rebecca is the one who told me. <gasps> Rebecca? Mom. Rebecca, you can't believe a word that comes out of that woman's mouth. Look, I understand that. I know. I normally wouldn't believe anything that she said. But I already had suspicions of my own. She just confirmed it. Okay, so you say that Chad is... is getting late-night phone calls. He's... he's not picking up your cell phone calls. And he's going out at odd times late at night he's not telling you where he's going yes that's right well that sounds familiar i mean <laughs> sounds like the life of a doctor mom chad's not a doctor he's a businessman with normal business hours yes but he works for crane industries you know how to demanding julian is much less teresa they think their employees are supposed to be on call 24 hours a day he did say that he was going to the office sometimes, but... Mom, something isn't right. I know it. I just don't know what I'm gonna do about it. Well, I'm no expert. God knows. But I think that you should follow your heart. If you love him, I think you should just get past these fears and these suspicions. Because I know he loves you very, very much. Sweets for the sweet. Um, oh, Chad, these are my favorite chocolates, and Whitney's too. Yeah, I know. Whitney, um, do you have some time to talk now? I see you're done with dinner. I'm really not ready to talk to you just yet, okay? Well, honey, I, I think that you should go and listen to whatever it is Chad has to say. Mama knows best. <sighs> okay, yeah, fine. Thank you. Come with me. Whitney, find some peace and happiness. 
What about her mother? Have you found peace and happiness yet, Eve? That should certainly help. Well, I uh, certainly deserved that. That's why I came over here. I wanted to apologize for my behavior the last time I saw you. You mean when you attack TC? A man who needs a walker to get around? A stroke victim who can't defend himself? I feel terrible about that. I made a complete ass of myself. Yes, you did, Julian. And you're becoming a drunken fool. So just leave me alone. No, he wouldn't. know what this is, don't you? Of course. Because you sent it to me, Julian. You sent me this, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You bastard! No, I didn't send it. it someone... Someone's been blackmailing me as well. Oh, my God. Someone's been very... Very busy digging up dirt. But who? Well, this is outrageous. And I'm not going to stand for it. I'm going to find out who did this, and I'm going to make them pay. Not if I find them first. When I find out who's behind this, they're going to regret it for the rest of their lives. <laughs> 